Hey, Kitty. Hey, Kitty. What's up, you guys? This is old Bashful. We call her Bashful the tuxedo cat because she's, she's so scary. Oh, yeah. I was going to say, are we going to the mower? No, we're not. Ah, don't run. <laughs> don't run, Kitty. Don't run. Hey. <laughs> anyway, you guys. What's up, you guys? I, uh... I gotta make a run to Clarkton to get some spark plug wires for the small truck that I've been driving. And this morning, I had to get Dan to weld one of the bars on the inside that help support it, help support the sides to keep them from expanding out. Kite. Kite. <laughs> Yeah, he had to wield that this morning. And yesterday, as I was hauling corn, I had to check on the wet bin. Excuse me, not the wet bin. The storage bin. Make sure that it wasn't overfilling. And when I did so, I had to turn off the fan. Well, you know what? I'll just show you what happened. Well, that's unloading, guys. We need to go check on the smaller big bin. Danny said it might be getting full. And let me turn this fan off, man. He said it. Okay, where are you? Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? <laughs> he said that uh, the spreader in this bin, it spreads it uneven. So, it may be building up uneven in here and we need to make sure that it's not going to be throwing it out of the side of it we need to look in here oh it's got a ways to go Yeah, it got a ways to go before it start throwing it out of it. Even though I believe that side around there is higher. I guess we'll have to check it again. Wah! Let's turn this loud fan back on. Uh-oh, what's going on here, you guys? Uh-oh. That's not good. Oh, boy. You got to tell Danny about that. I'm going to check the breaker, though. Man, it's always something, ain't it? Let's see, wet bin fan. I think that's that one. It's on. Let's see if that did anything. Nope. I don't know if I should be opening this. You know what? I'm not gonna do it. That might be a power box that will blast me off into outer space. I'll let Danny deal with it, I guess. Hello. 
road off. And he wants the fan to stay running so it can cool off. He said let it run for about a minute or so. And I guess I'll turn the elevator off as well. And the spreader. You don't want, you don't want to run that hot corn in the storage bin without that fan running because it will make it sweat miserably in there or kind of say it'll sweat real bad and then that's when the corn will start sticking to the wall and the corn in there it'll get wet and it'll get hard to come out of there and then you got a big problem so you always got to run that fan to be blowing that air up through there to keep it cooled off so it don't sweat in there and so that's why the fan's not working so i got to stop the corn from drying they're still hauling with the big truck, so I shouldn't fill up this wet bin. This wet bin, I believe it holds probably about, maybe about 10, 10 or 11 truckloads, the wet bin. All right, I believe that's been running long enough now. We'll turn that off. And somebody had a question the other day. I responded in a comment. <laughs> they was talking about the load and the unload. And they was confused. So that auger right there has nothing to do with this over here. I turned that on over there. So to turn on the load means to turn on the auger that brings the corn out of the wet bin into the dryer. That's what the load button is. And then you turn the fan on and then you turn the burner on. This is when you're drying it. And of course, I always wait to turn the unload on until the dryer heats up that first batch of corn that's in there because that unload button there is to unload the corn out of the dryer into the elevator so that it can go into the bin. So I had to explain that. I know I probably confused you guys the first time I ever uh, turned it on, but that's, that's how that goes. So uh, let me get on back to the field now, you guys. But this morning, I hear it running. So obviously, Danny got it straightened out. Praise the Lord. And so we did finish the farm where we were at yesterday. Looks different. Pulling it here now, doesn't it? Yeah, we've been working on it, you guys. About to be through with this farm, actually. Let me put you back in the truck so it's not making so much noise. But anyway, yeah, we got both sides done one last little field at the end of this room that's the last of it on this farm and so now you guys have been brought up to speed with where we are on today and we have arrived oh yeah get loaded up that's eight of them gotta get the last two and that makes 10. All right, you guys. So, brother John here at Peterson didn't have any of the wires that we need for the truck. So, I'm going to have to find another parts store that, that might have them. Let's see if Advanced Auto Parts have what we need, you guys. Well, you guys, out of luck here, too. Guess we have to go and try Napa. And we are arriving. Crazy, I've actually never been to this Napa before. <laughs> well, that was a no-go. <laughs> I guess uh, we'll try one more place. AutoZone, see if they might have them. If not, I just have to get Brother John to order us some since he's the closest to us. Yeah, I'm running around like a madman, you guys. <laughs> Well, praise the Lord. Now I can stop running around like a chicken with the head cut off. <laughs> Advanced 
not advanced. This is auto zone. Y'all know where I'm at. <laughs> Lord have mercy. <laughs> good, 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 good. I guess I done been around the world. I don't know where I was at. So thanks, AutoZone. I got it right now. <laughs> Looks like we have a long arm cutter there, you guys. Y'all remember we rode through here the other day where they was cutting trees at with all the John Deere logging equipment? They still out there getting it. And of course, there would be somebody coming right while I'm meeting this truck here. Check out that big excavator, woo! Speaking of logging, we're riding behind a log truck. Don't you just love to ride behind them and all the dirt and the wood chips blow off and hit the windshield? <laughs> no offense to you log truck drivers. I know that's work that's got to be done as well, but man, I do declare I hate when that stuff be blowing off of there. How about final destination when the logs came off the truck? <laughs> that put a lot of fear in people, didn't it? But I don't think that happens often, you guys. I'm heading straight to the field to pick up Dan since he's already got started moving. And I'm gonna tell you guys what. Woo, coming across that place right there. Man, I got to give it to Dan. I'm gonna ask him, surprisingly, how did he do going across it? <laughs> and this one too, you guys. I'm going to catch him off guard unexpectedly. Let's see what his answer will be. <laughs> Looks like Jack is back here already. This is one of the fields that I had to do a lot of bush hogging uh, the stalks down because of the weeds. And he's pulled up. All right, you guys. So, man, me and Dan was talking about something else. I didn't even get a chance to uh, ask him how he did going across that crossing. So... I gotta grab the grain cart and uh, take it over there. Man, look at these weeds growing up so bad. And we're gonna keep it moving along. So he had to leave some uh, corn that was full of morning glories on the end row there. Looked like maybe eight row pass closest to the ditch. I don't know if I'll spray that, being that it's not much. So we're getting ready to cross it with the grain cart now. But it's not quite as wide, but whoo! Look down there, man. Woo -hoo -hoo. All right, we coming up, you guys. Dan drove my truck back over. And letting the auger up. All right. <laughs> Gotta get him loaded up. Now when you're filling his trailer up, you got to really, really heap it up because it has a totally different design from the, uh, the hopper bottom trailers. I guess I'll pull this grain cart right behind them. Going back at it. I'm chilling in the AC, you guys. <laughs> Wait a minute, you guys. It's 1047. I haven't had my chicken salad yet. Yes, it's break time. Let me run to the shop while he trying to get that truck in this grain cart field. All right, let's get this death out of here, you guys. Done. Pull him back up the hill and Jack is gone. So Dan, how tight were those butt cheeks when you were coming across this crossing here? <laughs> no comment? They weren't bad as they were last year. Okay, okay, he's doing better, you guys. <laughs> All right, you guys, so I got to bush hog the ends where we can get the trucks turned around. So I'm gonna take this over there to the field and knock that out. And uh, Dan is gonna carry the Freightliner truck over there. And then I'll come back and get my truck and I'll run the grain cart. I told y'all I was going to catch him off guard. <laughs> I told Dan, I said, look, you got to be ready to give an answer whenever I catch you off guard like that. <laughs> you don't know what kind of craziness I might come at you with. <laughs> 
Yep, so we have made it back to the field and uh, I don't have my headband with me right now, you guys. I don't have my headband. It's in the, uh, uh, what's that tractor over there, the 83. But anyway, you guys see how we got to, we got to move around a lot here. Now see out west, they can get in a field that's like 100 acres, 200 acres, 300 acres, and ain't got to move. But man, we be hopping and skipping all around the place. I sort of feel like I'm still uh, hopping and skipping from store to store the way I'm hopping and skipping from field to field. But man, look at these weeds, you guys. That's where I didn't mow at. But this first pass is where I mowed uh, before we started harvesting, if y'all remember that. But man, he picked through that even though it's weedy. But we getting these ends mowed so the trucks, the big trucks will have somewhere to turn around without running into stalks, as always. As always. Before I snatched this bush hog up, Dan was saying how he was wondering why the deer was so bad on the corn this year. These places here where these weeds are, that's the places um, where the deer ate the top side of the corn. That's what we discovered happened. So before I was saying that it was the nitrogen, but it wasn't the nitrogen, it's the, the deer eating the top side of the corn. And it made it uh, weedy because like I was saying yesterday, it can't shade out the weeds. Chicken with the head cut off. We tried to get it. <laughs> nah, it ain't that serious. <laughs> so I gotta get next in line to unload the grain cart off of the truck. He's got one and a half loads in there. So that's done. Now back to the shop to play mechanic on the small grain truck. Do the bunny hop, 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 hop. <laughs> All right, you guys. Now let me tell you, I totally dismantled the twin turbos from underneath the hood of this truck. Why? So that you guys could not see my setup and copy it all right so it's gonna look totally like a stock engine under here all right <laughs> uh, y'all know i'm joking i'll be playing around <laughs> but anyway uh let's see which two spark plugs is it i know it's that one and one of the other ones but anyway i'm gonna work on it and it's crazy because we parked this truck here with shade here earlier but it's not now so it's hot now so let me work on this thing you guys yeah, you guys, I definitely believe that's why I was sputtering. See how that joker is tore there? And on both of those two, the little electro thingy came out of them. And you can see where it was burning a little bit on the inside of there. You probably can't see it. I can see it. But those two pieces came out of there. And uh, I only changed those two. Dan said, only change those two. You know why? Because if it ain't broke, don't fix it. <laughs> if the others decide they want to go out, then we'll change them out. Cause I do have the whole set here. So uh, I'm gonna crank it up and see, see how it sounds. It didn't sound bad just idling, but like when I had a load or if I was taking off down the road without a load, it seemed like it was sputtering. I guess I should say misfiring since sputtering has to do with gas, right? For all the techies, let me get myself right. <laughs> Guess I'll put these behind the seat with the rest of my uh, workout gear. <laughs> Y'all saw that video the other day? My workout gear is under the seat. I'm gonna put this behind the seat though. Uh, let's fire it up now. That's not 
not even with the turbos on it, you guys. <laughs> you guys, we're going we gonna to take it for a test run without the turbos on it, all right? I ain't put the turbos back on it yet. We're just going to do it with the stock motor, all right? We're going to do it with the stock motor. Oh, yeah. She's back to normal. Now see, I'm a true mechanic. I know how to change spark plug wires. I'm a true mechanic, you guys. <laughs> All right, you guys. Got it pulled in the shade now. I'm gonna go ahead and stick them twin turbos back in. <laughs> well, I was kind of sort of hoping I didn't have to use the twin turbos today, but I guess he needs them. So we gonna have to get on the move, you guys. Hey, that guy did some brush cutting with a with a skid loader with a bush hog on the front of it. That was pretty cool. That was pretty cool watching him do that. It looks like I just saw Dan turn to the right as if he just moved to another farm from the farm where we were at earlier. We're about to see. There's Jack with a load. Yep, there he is. <laughs> I guess I'm just in time from lunch, you guys, because I just got off of lunch from stuffing my belly and resting my eyeballs. <laughs> hey, I can't lie. I be resting my eyes on lunch break, you guys. No doubt about it. No doubt about it. Yeah, we riding behind the beast. And we and skipping this is a day of hopping and skipping but this field over here is probably only like it's probably only ah uh, no more than 10 acres i say you guys no more than 10 acres wait a minute how did i get here yes we are hopping and skipping all over the place <laughs> gotta get this moved over there hey i thought of a name for this creek that we're crossing here this is cheat creek Cheat creek, cause you gotta clench them cheeks when you go cross. <laughs> hey, was that question I asked Dan too personal earlier? <laughs> and we have arrived. He's dumped on here once. You gotta get one more load and I'm gonna go take it back over there to the international truck. Well, what do we have here, you guys? A green corn earworm. Where did this guy come from? On my shoe in the tractor here. He's trying to get him some cool air, ain't he? No, buddy. You can't ride in here. Sorry. You guys, so I just got out of the tractor, right? To move that truck over there beside the corn rolls. And I was walking back over here to the tractor and I seen a rattlesnake in the grass. I ain't had nothing to kill it with, so Dan came over here and sat the head down on it and got rid of it for me because I ain't had nothing to knock him out with. But man, I was walking in that grass and I seen something moving. That thing could have got me, you guys. Look at that. Oh my goodness. That's why we be mowing that grass down so we can see. That could have ended up bad for me. <laughs> Got it loaded up. Back over here to deer corn field. I'm gonna call it deer corn because the deer ate down so much of it. How about that? <laughs> Usually when you hear deer corn, you think about corn that's been picked and bagged for the deer but they made this field their own and picked it themselves <laughs> he actually said that down on that end of the field where i didn't bush hog at uh they ate a lot of the corn back in that corner back there <laughs> let me tell you when i came across that just now with two <laughs> combine hopper loads in the grain cart Man, I looked back there at the tires. I was like, wait a minute, the tires on that grain cart made me clench a little bit. <laughs> I don't think he's gonna get all of that on there, you guys. He got one more pass. I'm probably gonna have to get it on the go or stop and get it, I don't know. I started after him and he stopped, so we doing a, a paused unload. I'm gonna wait for him to finish this field 
then he'll put the rest of it on here and looks like Mike can use a little bit more on the small grain truck over there. I ain't gonna lie, since seeing that rattlesnake, I'm a little bit sketchy about walking out here now, you guys, where it ain't mowed, man. Oh, wait a minute, it was wet in that little hole there. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, I believe that'll do it, you guys. Thank God this is the last time going over Cheek Creek with something wide. <laughs> Bye, Cheek Creek. And guess what? We're coming back over here, you guys. Gotta get a truck to go pick up Dan because he's moved to yet another farm. <laughs> I'm gonna snatch up Dan's truck, you guys. And we have arrived. He's getting the inroads picked where we can get him mowed. I'm assuming we'll have to get the 7810 over here with the bush hog. Back in here, you guys. Like I said, gotta get the stalks mowed. Man, is it an oven in here, you guys. I'm baking. I'm baking at about 475. <laughs> um, I can't mow that. Bye, Becko. Hi, horses. See where I want to park this thing. Guess I'll park it right here. And we're back in the truck, you guys. I'm telling you. I'm keeping you guys confused, ain't I? <laughs> you don't know where I'll be at. But anyway, hey, I had to uh, get out of Dan's truck and get to this truck. This is the field where we killed the snake. And when I stepped out of the truck, I hopped back in real quick like I was stepping on a snake. <laughs> and I tricked Dan. <laughs> he got he got nerve wracked for a second there. I can tell. I got him. I got you, Dan. <laughs> you guys know the procedure. But not for long. noisy didn't it yes it did and my my how quick did I remember how hot it is 94 degrees you guys whoo smoking hot back to the field and he is loaded oh there's a nice glare and there's a hustle I'm out Bye-bye. Sound like it's running out. That's going to do it, you guys. Pulling up again. Got the corn cut closest to the road. 
Danny's here. Good thing. They must have went. I think he went to carry him to get the international truck because Dan's truck is not here. So that's why everything is at a standstill. I'm like, wait a minute, what's going on? Nothing's moving here. <laughs> Now I'm going to act like I'm an 18-wheeler driver. <laughs> yeah, I'm just pulling it up, you guys. Nothing major. <laughs> oh, he didn't even put the brakes on? Okay, well then. I scrape, I scrape, I'm rusty. I'm rusty. <laughs> I know a lot of times you don't even have to use the clutch to shift. See if we can make this turn without getting too far in the stalks. Dan said that they were backed up horribly at the mill, horribly. That's why I'm having to uh, haul today. So, I guess it, it'll be a while before Danny gets back with the other truck and then Jack, I think he's supposed to be sort of on the way. Yay, we did it, you guys. <laughs> Last load, you guys. Looking a little cloudy that way, ain't it? Huh. You guys, I think my turbos have blown up. <laughs> Man, nah, I think we need to uh, go ahead and change all the wires. I told Dan I believe we need to change all the wires because this joker is acting mighty weak right now. It's misfiring and all. And wow, look at the clouds there, man. Got the last load unloaded. And I noticed over here that there's some corn on the ground around the bin. So that means that I need to turn the spreader off because it's starting to sling it out of there. Oh yeah, I just seen a piece drop and another piece so yeah oh man it's coming out for real right there let's turn the spread off and i'm gonna go look in the bin oh that's a lot quieter we need to make sure that it's not overflowing even if i do turn the spread off yeah, you guys, so I'm going to wrap this video on up. And just like in the video yesterday, I ended by saying, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. I'm going to continue to encourage you guys to desire a relationship with Jesus. I'm going to keep telling you that God loves you and Jesus loves you until somebody surrenders. <laughs> Somebody's going to surrender to Jesus I truly believe it I'm crazy enough to believe that the love of God uh -huh, is going to cause somebody to want to get to know this Jesus and say I surrender all by the way it could still hold some more but I hope that you guys have enjoyed watching on today. I do. And if you really, really, really enjoyed watching, and I don't say this in many of my videos, I think I got over 800 videos, and I've only probably said this 10 times. Smash the like button if you really enjoyed the video. And if you really, really enjoyed the video, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And if you really, 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 really
really enjoy the content, <laughs> hit the notification bell so that you won't miss not one video. How about that? <laughs> but if you don't do any of that, this is what I really want you guys to do. I want you guys to stay blessed. I want you to keep encouraged. Uh-huh. And as always, we'll see you in the next one.